Okay. How to start it haha. <laughs> Maybe just. Here. So about this whole disappearing thing over and over again. Well. In fact I don't have anything in my defense. I know. I told you that I will finish everything that I started and that I will post everything that I planned to post. But as you can already guess. It didn't end quite well. As I didn't post anything for two weeks. Again. I was trying to finish all the things I started to be fair towards you and towards myself. But whenever I am trying to write something about my hero academia, my head is just empty. I have the ideas, the plan on how to create it, but it doesn't work the way that I want it to work. That's why the results are literally equal whole beep zero. But, as I know from my own experience, it sucks when I read or watch something and the author is not finishing their creation, so I didn't want to act the same way. And you know that I started making a series not so long ago, and the thing is that I know how this series was meant to go and end. So I made something like a compilation of the things that I wanted to create with a plot but without this whole messages thing. So I hope that this will be at least a little more fair than just leaving it without any further explanation. I am really sorry that I didn't manage to finish all these things, and I know that you lovely people will go to the comment section right away just to let me know to not worry about it, but please just accept this as an apology, and have in mind that you have rights to be mad. Love you. Izuku, really famous hero number one, was being insecure because he didn't have anyone closer than friend in his life. He had workmates, family, friends, but no one that he could have called his other half. Because of these insecurities, he decided to call to one of his friends, which at that time happened to be Mina, the girl that loves to introduce couples to each other, of course couldn't reject her friend and she agreed on helping him in this. She had a friend called Himari Takahashi. She also knew that this girl once had an affair with another famous hero. Hero number 2 at that time. Bakugo Katsuki. But she was almost sure that they weren't a thing or anything like this anymore so she introduced her to Izuku right away. The thing is, Mina wasn't exactly right about it. But her friend Himari didn't say anything so she just assumed she was right and set their date. The pair was getting along really well. They had a lot in common. They also had similar view of the world. It was just too smooth, but in the good way. Izuku thought that their thing was actually having a potential so after a week from their date, he decided to visit his possible girlfriend in a day that was meant to be her free day. Unfortunately when he arrived to her place, instead of seeing the cute girl with beaming eyes and soft smile on her face as a hello, he saw someone else. His rival Bakugo Katsuki, at least that's what Bakugo liked to call them since he was hero number 2 and Deku was hero number 1. It didn't take too long for Izuku to find out that Bakugo was Himari's boyfriend. Unfortunately, the girl was cheating on her boyfriend. And Izuku, even though he wouldn't admit it, he felt like she was also cheating on him. That was hurtful of course, and Izuku's heart didn't experience a very pleasant feeling that time, but he didn't want to leave it like this either. He wanted Himari to regret playing with his heart and lying to her other half, so he decided to give a blonde hero a clue about their affair. Then he disappeared, leaving Katsuki with a questioning look and a feeling that something's not right. Without much effort he indeed find out that something was going on between him and his girlfriend but he needed more information. After literally ignoring Himari's questions about what was going on, he rushed out of their house after Izuku, and when he found him, crying, on one of the benches in a park, he somehow succeeded to convince him to go in with him to a bar. They talk things out there and find out that they have much more in common than they ever thought they do. It was actually really nice. Of course skipping the part where they were talking about unpleasant things like this whole cheating, but either way they enjoyed each other's company. Of course the meeting became even more interesting when both of them drank over 7 shots of an alcohol and started teasing each other. Gods know why. The teasing becoming somehow hot for the both guys. Make them end up in the same bed that night. They slept with each other and unfortunately for their work. Someone had to saw them walking with each other to the same love hotel that night. Someone that happened to be a paparazzi. But they didn't know about it before going back to their homes. Izuku went out first without even waking Katsuki up. He took a phone, cursed himself for letting it to happen, and thanked still sleeping Bakuga for the night and talk. Then he left. Katsuki though, wasn't sleeping at all so he heard everything Izuku was saying. 
He woke up only 10 minutes after Izuku but that was already a sign that he was on a lost position. And Izuku is going to be the one that will leave the place through the front door. Of course he couldn't do that because he didn't want the paparazzi to see him. So after Izuku finally left, he decided to do that as well. Back to Izuku. When he got back home, he did everything he needed to fresh himself up a little and then he switched on the TV. While the news was starting he finally took his phone and he realized that it definitely wasn't his phone, but Bakugao's. So Bakugao definitely had his phone. They were screwed. In the ad of that, the news were all about their alleged shared night that indeed took its place. But now Izuku had to do an explanation in the press and convince them that these were all just rumors. On the other hand, Bakuga was struggling with the same problem as Izuku as he too realized whose phone he had. But before taking care of it, he went back to his flat and saw Himari already knowing all the so-called tea. Probably from the news. The girl asked him if that was all true. And even though Bakuga didn't answer and was just packing his things the girl quickly realized what was that all about. She knew him. So she knew that this was all true. She wasn't disgusted nor mad, more like curious. The girl was asking and asking but the blonde kept silent as the only thing on his mind was how to say sorry to his managers, convince the whole world that it all wasn't true, and get his phone back. When the blonde was already leaving their flat with his luggage, Himari said something that unconsciously made Katsuki question if he would sleep with Izuku one or two times more and the world would find out about it but without knowing it was with him. Would that make Izuku worse and actually make him lose in the contest hero number 1 versus hero number 2? Simply saying, would making the world believe hero number 1 is gay make him instead a new hero number 1? He definitely had to try this. So when he finally met with Izuku again and the boy successfully managed to explain themselves to the world and their managers in an interview and get their phones back, Katsuki tried his best to play Izuku's new friend. Of course. His intentions were wrong as he wanted to ruin Izuku's current position in the hero world. There was no explanation for him to do that which made Izuku suspicious about his sudden friendliness, but he didn't question it. Instead he was just glad that they were fine with each other after all that what happened between them. Actually, it was more than fine after one night when Katsuki started the second part of his plan. After a few months of trying to get Izuku's trust as a friend, in which he succeeded, he wanted to convince him into having a little different type of relationship. He wanted to try something that they call friends with benefits thing. Of course all of it was part of a plan as he was refusing to admit that he actually kind of liked Izuku as a friend, but his career and six striving to achieve the goal one. He managed to make Izuku think about it after one common night, but sober. When they spent it together, Izuku was confused, but the feelings that he was experiencing weren't bad either. He even enjoyed it. So this little thing between them continued. Of course until first rumors spread around about their alleged affair. The media were all over it once again. Just like the first time. But now, when they had this for a longer time, something like feelings started appearing. After all the things they experienced together it was hard not to feel something more than just an urge to smash. Both Izuku and Katsuki knew that, and yet Katsuki knew what was his hidden intention. Get Izuku's place. Unfortunately, the media find out about their romance as someone, aka Himari, managed to take a photo of two boys when they were near her house, showing affection. But as Bakugao threatened her, she only posted the side with Izuku, not actually making clear who the other boy was. The rest is pretty self-explaining. Media didn't like the thought of hero number one being gay and were scared that this might give some people a wrong impression so as the next choosing hero number one came, they chose Bakugao instead. In that time Izuku also found out about all Katsuki's side in that and he broke the contact. Feelings or not, using him as a way to get his goal was something he couldn't forgive. Bakuga regretted it, of course. But there was nothing he could do. He said sorry, he begged Izuku to forgive him, but the damage was already done. Nothing to take back. The moral of the story was to not put someone's happiness, feelings and trust over our own goals but the rating I am leaving to you. The way you will receive it is in your hands, so take it to heart and maybe one day, this will remind you, even though it's not the best, more like the worst lol, of something and it will help you somehow. I love you all incredibly and I hope this last video wasn't that bad after all.
with that, I wanted to say thank you and goodbye. Love you all forever and see some of you on my other channel maybe? I hope so. Bye.